the punishment of Jahannam cannot be tolerated for a single millionth of a second. That is how fierce the fire of Jahannam is. Paradise and hell have already been created. They exist now. It is wrong to believe that they don't exist and they will be created on the Day of Judgment. No, they exist now at this moment in time. These are two actual abodes, two places. It is wrong to believe that wherever the word Jahannam is mentioned, wherever hell is mentioned, or paradise is mentioned, it doesn't really mean hell, it doesn't really mean paradise. The feeling of joy when you perform good actions is the definition of paradise. And the feeling of grief and sorrow when you perform bad actions and when you sin is the meaning of hell. No. These are two places. Sirat is Haq, the bridge exists. It is true. The scales are two actual scales. These aren't just metaphors. These aren't just meanings. They really exist. And we have to believe this. If anyone says, if anyone has some other sort of aqidah and says Jahannam, Paradise, Sirat, the Mizan don't really exist. They're just meanings, metaphors. He will become a kafir. He will become a disbeliever because he has rejected and denied the Quran. And he has denied the meanings of these things that have been taught unanimously by the whole woman. So these actually exist. And it is a fundamental part of our faith to believe in the existence of these things. My dear brothers, day and day, day after day, it is becoming harder and harder for us to secure our Iman, for us to protect our faith. Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, foretold, he prophesied that we come a time close to the day of Qiyamah when people will be Muslim by morning and kafir by evening. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there will come a time when it will be so hard for a person to secure his iman it will be as hard as holding a coal of fire in your hand. My dear brothers, we live in such times. Our Iman is being attacked in many different ways. This society, the company we are in, the devil, the unseen enemy that we have pursuing us day in, day out, living, sleeping with us, eating, drinking with us, constantly pursuing us, and will not rest until he makes sure that we die as non-Muslims. He makes us miss our namaz because he knows missing our namaz will one day lead to becoming a kafir. He knows that neglecting death will one day lead to denying the affairs of the afterlife. And as soon as the person denies the affairs of the afterlife, as soon as a person denies and rejects judgment day, he will become a disbeliever. And that is when shaitan will become extremely happy. And shaitan will succeed. Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Barabi radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, Someone who is not worried about losing his iman will lose it at the time of death. My dear brothers, there's a hadith I'm going to narrate to you. It's one for each and every one of us to learn. And it makes us tremble with fear if we really think about it. If we think about death the way we are supposed to. As mentioned by Imam Ghazali, with a fari heart, with an empty heart, not with a heart occupied with other thoughts, with thoughts about what the next topic will be with thoughts about who's coming and going, with thoughts about who 
the speaker is, or looking at the dress of the speaker, forget the person next to you and focus only on death. Focus only on death and the afterlife. And just think about this hadith. Just think about the fact that no one knows what the deed has in store for him. No one knows what destiny has in store for him. The fact that we are sat here as Muslims doesn't mean we are guaranteed a death in the state of Iman. The fact that we are sat here with turbans and beards in an ishtima, in a very religious faith and lightning atmosphere does not mean that we will not be subjected to punishment in the grave and that we will definitely and most certainly not be burning in the fire of hell eternally. This hadith is one of the khutbahs of the Prophet It was a very long khutbah that he delivered. But it consisted of these few words as well about Iman. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Humans have been created in different categories. Some of them are born Muslim. Some of them live Muslim. This is the first category, three categories. Some are born Muslim. They die Muslim. They live Muslim. And they die as Muslim. Some are born as Muslims, they live as Muslims, and they die as Muslims. Some are born as Muslims, and they live, this is the second category. Some are born as Muslims, they live as Muslims, but they die as non-believers. Category is some of them are born non Muslims and live as non Muslims but die as Muslims. My dear brothers, we do not know what the Qadi has in store for us. Muslim.